Imagine a bomber so advanced and stealthy that it slips past enemy radar, flies thousands of miles undetected, and carries enough firepower to level entire cities. With a staggering price tag of $700 million per unit, this isn't just a bomber. It's a masterpiece of engineering and a colossal financial gamble for the US Air Force. To put that in perspective, the US Air Force's other prized aircraft, the F-35 Lightning II, costs between $80 million and $135 million, depending on the variant. This means, for the price of a single B-21, the Air Force could purchase five to eight F-35s. But while the F-35 excels in versatility and air dominance, the B-21's mission is entirely different. It's built to strike deep into enemy territory undetected, making its higher cost a trade-off for unmatched stealth and firepower. The B-21 Raider represents the pinnacle of modern aircraft, blending stealth, endurance and flexibility in a way no other bomber has achieved. Unlike its predecessor, the B-2 Spirit, the B-21's design focuses on operational flexibility, integrating new technologies with a sleek, stealthy silhouette. Northrop Grumman, the prime contractor, built the radar with a modular open systems architecture. This means that while the plane is cutting edge today, its design allows for seamless upgrades and integrations of future technologies. Think of it like a smartphone of bombers, always evolving. Digital engineering played a huge role in its creation. Thousands of hours went into virtual testing before the aircraft ever took shape in a factory, reducing the timeline for physical prototyping and ensuring consistency in production. By the time the B-21 took its first flight in November 2022, it was already a refined beast thanks to Northrop's use of Digital Twins, a virtual replica of the bomber. This digital approach is also key to keeping costs somewhat under control, though we'll get into that later. However, this approach was crucial to mitigating the risk posed by emerging adversaries like China and Russia, who were also developing advanced bombers and countermeasures. To compete on the world stage, the B-21 Raider had to be not just stealthy, also incredibly adaptable. When it comes to payload, the B-21 Raider is built to deliver both nuclear and conventional weapons, making it one of the most versatile bombers in the US arsenal. So, what sets it apart is not just the size of the payload, but how stealthily and efficiently it can deliver it. Unlike older bombers like the B-52, which rely on brute force and large, easy-to-detect radar signatures, the B-21 Raider's stealth capabilities allow it to strike deep within enemy territory without being seen. This capability is crucial in a world where anti-access aerial denial A2AD strategies are becoming the norm for nations like China. The radar also has the range to reach targets across the globe without needing to refuel, something very few bombers can claim. This is vital for both nuclear deterrence and conventional warfare, where speed and the element of surprise can mean the difference between victory and defeat. Its radar evading technology is said to be leaps ahead of even the B-2, which has been the gold standard for stealth for decades. Unlike other aircraft, the B-21 doesn't just rely on brute force or firepower. It's designed to work as a command and control center, capable of managing entire fleets of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, and other aircraft. This gives it an edge in future network-centric warfare, where coordination between machines and humans will be critical. Essentially, it's not just a bomber, it's a force multiplier. Another groundbreaking feature of the B-21 is its adaptability. It can operate both manned and unmanned, a flexibility no other bomber currently offers. This makes it a cornerstone of the Air Force's strategy to counter emerging threats by using distributed operations, small, agile units that can strike from unexpected directions. The B-21 is undoubtedly impressive, though its price is equally jaw-dropping. As development progresses, that number could climb even higher. Here is why. Northrop Grumman initially took a significant hit, losing over $1 billion on the first few planes due to the fixed-price contract they accepted from the Air Force. This essentially means that they had to cover the cost overruns themselves, a mistake they're keen to avoid in future contracts. 
To make up for those losses, Northrop has negotiated a higher cost ceiling for the next 19 aircraft, which means the US government will be paying more per unit moving forward. Inflation, material costs and the complexity of the stealth technology all play a role in driving up the price of each B-21 unit. Initially, the goal was to keep the cost at around $550 million in 2010 dollars, about $692 million in 2022 dollars. But reality has pushed that target higher. Now, with inflation and unexpected manufacturing challenges, the cost per aircraft has likely surpassed $700 million. In fact, as the production ramps up, estimates suggest that number could keep climbing, making it one of the most expensive bombers ever built. Another factor contributing to the rising costs is the low-rate initial production LRIP phase, where Northrop Grumman is producing just a few bombers each year. This slow ramp-up is typical for cutting-edge military projects, where lessons from early production units can be applied to later aircraft, which also means the early units are far more expensive than they will be once mass production kicks in. The Air Force plans to purchase at least 100 B-21 Raiders. Yeah, you heard that right, 100 units. However, some experts argue that even that number won't be enough to maintain air superiority in future conflicts. The Raider is expected to operate alongside older bombers like the B-52 and B-1 until those aircraft are finally retired in the 2040s. However, considering the rapidly changing global security environment, there's already talk of producing up to 200 Raiders. This would require significant annual production increases, so with the per-unit cost rising and budget constraints always looming, the Pentagon is facing tough decisions. While the Raiders' open architecture allows for upgrades and flexibility, the sheer cost of the program could limit how many are eventually built. Still, the B-21 represents a crucial component of America's nuclear triad, ensuring that the US can respond to any threat, anywhere, at any time. Its stealth capabilities allow it to strike without warning, making it a powerful deterrent in an increasingly dangerous world. The B-21 Raider isn't just a bomber, it's a technological marvel, a cornerstone of next-generation warfare. Its unmatched stealth, adaptability and firepower make it a strategic advantage designed to keep the US at the forefront of global military power for decades. However, its colossal costs and uncertain production scale highlight the high stakes of defense innovation. The Raider may be the most expensive gamble in military history, but it represents a vital investment in national security. If you're fascinated by cutting-edge military tech, hit like, subscribe and join the conversation below.